Caroline. It's no problem, sir. Good morning, Thomas. Good morning, sir. If you don't mind me asking, what are you doing here so early in the morning? To answer your question, Thomas, I'm here because I need your assistance up at Natford. Wait, what? Why do you need my help? Well, there's been a little bit of an incident with Jinty and some trucks. Long story short, they'll be out of commission for a bit. So, I need you to handle the shunting at Natford alongside Rosie until his repairs are complete. But sir, what about my branch line? The passengers need me to take them where they need to go. If not me, then who? If you're offering, sir, I could handle the passenger work while well, Thomas heads off to shunt in the yards. Well, Daisy, if you insist, you'll handle the passenger trains. <sighs> Fine, sir. I'll get going. Excellent. Thank you, Thomas. Oh, what's wrong, Thomas? Scared I would replace you on your passenger work? Oh, shut it, Daisy. My goodness, the way she can run her mouth. How dare he say something to a splendid rail car? I such said, a... shut it, Daisy. Ugh. Well, the fat controller told me there was an accident with Jinty, but I wasn't expecting this. You see, he wasn't looking where he was going in. <sighs> I bashed into the truck, smashing the buffers on my rear end. Miraculously, only one of the vans were fine as it was, just the truck that suffered the most damage, so it's still usable. But the van's coupling is very loose, so we'll put it in the out-of-use siding for now. Right, right. So, what do you need me to do while our pal Jinty's at the works? Well, I'll show you around and tell you what needs to be done. Alright, let's get going. Hang tight there, Jinty. Well, it's not like I can move my own. There, it is where we store some of the vans. And right over there, behind that corner, is where we store the tankers. Wow. You seem to know this yard like the back of your buffers. When you work in these yards, for a while you kind of start to learn where things are supposed to go and how to keep things neat and tidy. Where's the shunter? I need my coaches for the express. Pronto! Well, that's my call. I'll talk to you later, Thomas. See you, Rosie. Hello, Thomas. I'm pretty sure Rosie gave you the rundown of where things are supposed to go around here. Yes, sir. Right then. With that, I'll need you to arrange a goods train for Molly. She'll be taking the local goods down to Crosby. Once that's done, I need you to arrange another goods train of stone for Duck. Oh, and try and get these yards cleaned up as Edward will be coming in with goods from Brendam. There are some more goods and passenger trains that will be coming in and out, so be prepared for that. Got all that? Pretty much. <laughs> train I need to arrange? No, not now. And besides, Wesley's handling the shunting right now. However, I need your help. I need you to take some goods up the line to Marin. There we can gather the supplies to repair the siding Jinty botched up earlier today. I'll be right on it, sir. Wait, Thomas! We're one van short! But, sir, there are no other vans in the yards. Except... But that was in the out-of-use siding, Thomas. We can't use that. But Rosie said earlier it's still in pretty good condition. And besides, there aren't any other vans we can use since they'll all be due out for other trains soon. 
If you're sure about this, I'll allow it. Ha! Finally, out of the yards and I'm right on time. That's one of the headlamps for that daisy. Oh, hello, Thomas. It seems your passengers are starting to grow a liking to me. I bet they're starting to enjoy having me more than you. And it hasn't been a day yet. <laughs> to take my passengers away from me. I'll show her. I'll show her. Down the line! Stop all trains! Oh, right, I'm on it! Oh my! What's the hold up? I have passengers to take! I'm sorry, Daisy, but reports of a runaway train come from the signal box at Wellsworth. And so Sir Topham Hatt said that all trains have to be halted. Just let me up the line. It's not that far. And besides, do you want to deal with these passengers saying what a bad railway it is? Fine. But if I get in trouble, I'm putting the blame on you. That's fine with me. Wait, what? What are these trucks doing here? And why is there a runaway train in the middle of the main? Daisy, what are you doing here? Never mind that, Thomas. J just help me stop these things! Oh, right! Listen to me carefully, Daisy. On my word, apply your brakes as firmly as you can. Oh, right, Thomas! Now! takes the weight off my buffers. <laughs> hmm. Listen, Thomas. I'm sorry for being so rude to you this morning and earlier today at Ellsbridge. That was very unkind of me. It's alright, Daisy. I'll forgive you, and I'm sorry for how rude I was to you earlier this morning. Let's just be glad that we're still on the rails and everyone is safe and sound. Now, let's get back to work. You're right. Good evening, all. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Sorry to ask, sir, but what are you doing here so late? To answer your question, Toby, I came here to talk about a few things. Firstly, Thomas. Rosie told me about how you took the van that she said not to touch from the out-of-use siding. However, 
Your quick efforts today in saving Daisy and stopping a more serious accident can't go without a reward. So, you'll be heading back to running trains on your branch line again. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. But, who will work as a shunter until Jinty returns? Well, Thomas, that leads into the second thing I want to talk about. Daisy. I'm not pleased that you headed down the line even when you were told to wait. I know you didn't want to anger the passengers, but it was better to stay at the station than putting your passengers at risk at the front of a runaway train. As a punishment, you'll be filling in Thomas's place as the shunter at Nafford until Ginty returns. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Right then, that'll be all. Get a good night's rest. Tomorrow's another busy day. Good night, night sir. Good night, sir.